सो इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एम्पलीट्यूड मॉड्यूलेटर सर्किट सो आई एम ड्रॉइंग द एम्पलीट्यूड मॉड्यूलेटर सर्किट दिस इज रजिस्टर आर वन रजिस्टर आर टू रजिस्टर आर थ्री देर इज अ डायोड हेयर एंड देर इज अल सी ट्यून सर्किट दिस इज अ कैपेसिटर एंड दिस इज अ इंडक्टर so i can say it is capacitor it is a inductor it is a diode d1 this is r1 this is r2 and this is r3 and here i can say it is a output circuit right so this is my circuit of di amplitude modulator circuit and the circuit is known as diode amplitude modulator now the circuit consists of three parts i okay so this is the first part this is the second part and this is the third part so i can say that circuit consists of three parts the first part is the resistive network which consists of r1 r2 and r3 this is the resistive network second part is simple a diode circuit and the third part is lc tuned circuit right so this is diode d1 and lc tuned circuit comprises of l and c so this is basically the explanation of the amplitude modulator circuit now at r1 right so we are applying a modulating signal what what do you mean by modulating signal modulating signal is basically the message signal which needs to be modulated at r2 we are applying the carrier signal right so carrier signal as i explained in, in you in the previous lecture as well carrier signal is basically the high frequency signal so r1 and r2 they will be linearly added and the output will appear at r3 right so suppose i'm drawing the waveforms here so suppose the waveform sorry so this is my modulating signal right and where we are applying this modulating signal at r1 right and there is a carrier signal carrier signal is always high frequency signal okay so this is a carrier signal and what is the where it is applied it is applied at r2 now these both signals must be added and the output will appear at r3 so how they are going to add is we can make a envelope like like this like this and now i am adding both the signals so as it is going up so it is going down here it is going it is going more up so it is little bit of down so it is getting more up so little bit of down it's more up little bit of down then it is coming down then little bit of here then it is coming down little bit of more here then this 
is here and now it is it is coming here then it will go here equal it it is coming here like this then it will be more it will be less it will be more it will be bit less and then it will be more and then it will be more so this is basically the addition of the addition of r1 and r2 and it is appearing at r3 right so these three waveforms are clear to you so the first part the first part is done so what will happen what is the function of the what is the function of the resistive network basically the input signal the modulating signal and the carrier signal are applied at r1 and r2 and basically they will appear the output will appear at r3 now because these signals are algebraically added but the modulation process is the multiplication process right so what will happen we will apply this waveform we will apply this output and this output will go to diode d1 okay so now what will be the function of d1 diode diode everyone knows diode conducts when it is forward bias when diode is forward bias it conducts and when diode is reverse bias it does not conduct right so what will happen now what will happen so this composite signal what will what appears at r3 will be applied to diode d1 right right so this will appear to diode d1 here and then what will happen at positive cycle diode will be forward bias and then only the positive cycle will appear but at negative cycle it does not appear right so what will happen now i am making the output which will be appeared at diode the output which will appear at diode right so what will happen only the positive cycle will appear because the diode conducts only in the positive half cycle and it does not conduct in negative half cycle so whatever in this waveform whatever will be at the positive side i will make this in this figure and whatever will be at the negative side it will be just cut off so just the same figure but in the positive cycle so here like this waveform then this then this this little bit down little bit down little bit down then up more up down down and more up so this this we this waveform we are getting at the diode right now what will happen we now we we get the output at r3 the first part we get the output at d1 after d1 the second part now what will happen after this d1 we will this lc circuit will be active right so what will happen when when the diode is conducting right so that means it is forward bias so i can just make the figure for ex for your understanding so this is my resistor this is my resistor this is r3 so when diode is forward bias that means it is conducting and it is going to the output here right this is r1 r2 and r3 so on the positive half cycle the same will be the output but at the same time because of this output the capacitor is getting charged the capacitor will be charged here right the capacitor will be charged okay on this positive half cycle i'm writing positive half cycle right but in negative half cycle what will happen negative half cycle what will happen is the same figure i can just copy the same figure here copy paste so it's the same figure but what will happen this diode is reverse bias here reverse bias reverse bias means open circuit open circuit means it will not conduct so what will happen when it will not conduct that means the capacitor starts discharging 
discharging right so what will happen there will be a charging of capacitor and there will be a discharging of capacitor right charging and discharging will happen together in the positive half cycle and in the negative half cycle so when there will be negative half cycle there will be discharging and the current will flow in the opposite direction so we will get a positive and a negative half cycle and that will be our output circuit right so i will draw the output circuit here so at positive half cycle it is charging like this the same so whatever amount it is charged it is going to discharge in the negative half cycle so in the positive half cycle if this is there then in the negative half cycle the same amount if positive half cycle is this the negative half cycle will be the same amount and then again it is going to discharge like this and then it's small small and then again it's charging and discharging and charging and discharging so whatever amount will go in the positive half cycle the same amount will come in the negative half cycle okay so basically this will be our output signal so what happens is here so these are all the waveforms waveform 1 which we apply at r1 waveform 2 r2 signal the carrier signal r3 the mixing of the r1 and r2 then the output what we get at the diode so at diode we will get only on the positive half cycle not on the negative half cycle because the diode conducts in the positive half cycle and then the output signal because the charging and the discharging of the capacitor will happen so the output will occur at the positive and the negative cycle so these are this is basically the amplitude modulator circuit or we can say the diode modulator circuit the nodes are please see the link below for the nodes thank you so much